right this is our sc05 over here this is lcd and this is a mobile phone it's connected and okay small okay is our delimiter so i send hello see nothing is received see why because we had not written okay in that now i clear the screen i write okay and before that i send just an empty line so this will clear the screen if there are any rag bag values like this and now i send whatever i want to send i write hello h e double l o hello hello and then i send okay see it shows hello again clear the screen send some uh, empty spaces this will clear the screen for the next text like this now i write the next text i write learn l e a r n learn i send it and space okay see it shows learn so this is simple as that hello guys welcome to learning microcontrollers in this video i'm going to show you how you can interface a pic 16 f double seven a with the hc05 module and then we are going to use our mobile phone a smartphone to send text messages to the pic using hc05 and the pic will display those messages on a 16 cross 2 lm0 16 16 lcd so let's get started so guys this is our pic 16 f8 double seven a microcontroller having 40 pins it's a dip version and guys this is a 16 cross 2 lm0 16 lcd and guys this is the potentiometer we will need to connect this lcd with the pic it will be used to adjust the contrast before going to the hc05 let's first of all connect the lcd so guys to connect the lcd you know that a potentiometer has three pins mentioned on, it, on its body as well one two and three like this and this lcd has 16 pins one to 16 from left to right if you hold it like this now guys you short the pin number one and five of the lcd then you send it to the common ground of the pick along with the pin number one of the potentiometer like this then guys pin number three of your lcd is the adjustable contrast pin you will send it to the adjustable pin of your potentiometer that is pin number two like this then guys for the pin number two of the lcd that is the vdd pin you send it to the five volt supply of the pick and also you will give five volt to the potentiometer using the pin number three of that potentiometer like this in this way your lcd will get the five volt and your potentiometer will get the five volt now guys uh, pin number four is the rs pin for this you can use any available digital input output of pin of your pick i'm going to use a pin number c0 for pin number six that is the enable pin i'm going to use a c1 for data pin 4 of the LCD, that is pin number 11 of the LCD, I am going to use the pin number C2 of the pick. For data pin 5, that is pin number 12 of the LCD, I am going to use the pin number 21 of the pick, that is pin number D2, like this. For data pin 13, or oh sorry, data pin 6, that is pin number 13 of the LCD, I am going to use the pin number 22 of the pick. For pin number 14 of the LCD, that is data pin 7, I am going to use the pin number C4, that is pin number 23 of the pick, like this. And then guys, finally, these two pins in the end, that is pin number 15 and 16 are for the LCD backlight. If your LCD has a backlight, only then you will connect them, else you will not connect them at all. This LCD do have a backlight. So pin number 15 is the VCC pin, 16 is the ground pin for the backlight. Now this will cause a backlight to turn on. Now guys, these four pins, 7, 8, 9 and 10, they are for the 8-bit mode, while we are using this LCD in the 4-bit mode. So leave them as it is, don't touch them. They, are, they will be left floating. Now guys, this is our SC05 module, Bluetooth module that we are going to use here. So let me label it. If you hold it like this, then the bottom one pin that next to the button is the enable pin. Then the VCC, ground, TX, RX and the state pin. This enable pin in some module is also referred to as a key pin. This is used to change the mode of the SC05. Either you want to connect it in the co command mode or in the data mode. Now guys. In my previous video, I will share the link of that video in the description. I had told, we taught you how you can change the setting of this HC05 using this enable pin by connecting it to the 5 volt supply. Uh, but in this video, we will simply use the settings that we did in the previous video. I will also share the link of that video in the description of this video. So let's continue. So guys, first of all, you connect the RX pin of your HC05 to the TX pin of the pick. TX pin of the pick is pin number 25, that is pin number C6. Now for the TX pin of the SC05, you connect it to the RX pin of the pick like this. And that is pin number C7 or pin number 26 of the pick. Ground goes to ground, VCC go to VCC. In this way, our wirings are completed. Now guys, our system is going to work in such a way that we will write a word on a mobile phone. 
then we will uh, write a delimiter that the pick will know that when once these digits are received just uh, read whatever is in the back i will show you in the programming how the delimiter works then guys once the data comes to the sc05 sc05 will send it to the pick pick will decode it and it will display it on the screen whatever we are going to send it to the sc05 module using our mobile phone pick will decode it and it will simply display it on this 16 cross 2 lcd so let's get to the hardware before we move on to the programming so guys this is our hardware here as you can see uh, we have a 16 cross 2 lcd see this is our 16 cross 2 lcd this is our sc05 module and that over there is the pic 16 fa 77 a microcontroller having 40 pins it's a dip version so let's get to the micro c4 pic so we can start with the coding so guys this is micro c4 pic let me zoom in so you guys can see better as you can see this is version 7.2.0 so uh, let's uh, do the go to the file click on new new project try to use the latest version if latest version is available just download and use it i'm gonna use version 7.2.0 so uh, when you click file new new project this window pops up new project wizard click on next write the name of the project sc05 strings okay i write sc05 texts messaging tutorial by learning microcontrollers okay this is the microcontroller we are going to use here and type the crystal the crystal corrected to the pin number 13 and 14 of your pick that is 20 megahertz in my case click on next and finish now guys before you do anything else this window will pop up first of all what you should do is save your work press ctrl s to save it select the destination click on save now go to the right here you have these libraries here expand the libraries system libraries select the uh, select the lcd library then the uart library this one now go to the uart library here you have this uart1 init command double click on it this will lead you to this window in the example here you have this command now guys this is the command which will initialize the uart module of the pick and this is the bonded i had uh, in my previous video I will share the link. The setting of my SC05 module is 9600 bordered. So if you have any other bordered, you will write that bordered over here. Then give some initialization delay. 100 will do fine. 100 millisecond. Now guys, we have our uh, UART port initialized. Now we initialize the LCD. To initialize the LCD, expand the LCD library. Click Double click on this LCD INIT command. Here in the example, here you have these commands. Copy them till here like this. Go back, paste it above the void main. Like this. Now, guys, here you will define your pins that you have connected to the hardware. See that for the B4 RS pin, he is having pin number B4. Why will we have C0? For the EN pin, we have C1. For data pin 7, we have C4. Then for the D6, we have D3. Data pin 5, we have D2. And for data pin 4, we have C2. Let's recheck it on the hardware because if we make a mistake here, LCD will not work. So it's C4, D3, D2, and C2. So let's go back and recheck. It's C4, D3, D2, and C2. Okay, that's fine. Now do the same here. That is for the pin direction. Uh, for the RS, we have C0. For the en we have c1 for the data pin 7 we have c4 for data pin 6 we have c3 for data pin 5 we have d2 and for data pin 4 we have c2 like this now guys initialize lcd now again go to the lcd library commands double click on this lcd init command and in the example here you have this command called lcd init copy it place it here and give some initialization delay like this. This delay is not necessary, but I always suggested you give it in the one time loop. Now we got our LCD initialized. We also got our UART port initialized for the SC05 module. Now by default, there is a cursor on the LCD. I don't want the cursor. If you want to keep the cursor, you can keep it. So I will remove the cursor. Go to LCD CMD command in the LCD library. Copy this command. 
LCD CMD clear. Paste it here. Remove what is inside the bracket. Now again go back to the same page where you copied this command from LCD CMD. Okay, here in the available command table, look for the command to remove cursor. This is turn off cursor. Copy this green part LCD command. Go back and place it inside the bracket. Now this command will remove the cursor. Give some initialization delay. I give it 10. Now before uh, we go to our forever loop, we once clear the LCD. If there are any ragback values on the screen, they will be cleared. So this command will clear the LCD. Place, paste it here like this. Now guys, we go to our forever loop. Write down while 1. Forever loop starts here, ends here. Inside it, first of all, we will need to read the value coming from the SC05. For that, go to the UART library. Here you have this command UART read text. This command, double click on it. Okay, this will lead you to this window. See, UART read text command. Here in the example, here you have this command. Copy it from here till here. If you are to data ready, then you are to read text and write text. You copy this command here. Now, uh, this command over here, if you are to data ready, checks if the data is received or it is, if, is there some data in the receive buffer. Then guys, this will read the data, delete this. We don't want to write anything. So, just delete this. So, we only need these two commands. So, whatever the data is read will be stored in this output variable. So, we make a variable here. Uh, I write char. Any variable, I call it sc5 text and uh, uh, how much of a big string it can store, I make it like 20. It can store a string of maximum 20 characters like this. If you make it longer, it can store even more characters. So our LCD can maximum display 16 characters on one row. So 20 will be more than enough. So we replace this output with our variable, this. Now this is the delimiter here. Now, if you write OK, this uh, whatever the digits you write here, like slash or slash n or et or anything or OK, OK is also fine. OK, I also use the smaller OK. So, when I will end my uh, any word with this letter called OK, only then the data will be received. I write a word, then I have to send a OK in that to make the pick understand that yes, this is a valid value to receive. Else it will receive any rag band value in the air. So this makes you noise immune. So this is a simple code for receiving the data from the sensor. Now we need to display whatever is in this variable on the screen. So we go to the LCD library. You have this LCD out command here. Double click on it. In the example here you have this command. Copy it. And paste it here. Now you instead of this hello. You write this. Whatever is in this, this variable. Display it on the screen. Start writing from row 1. Column 1. And then for how long the value should be kept on displaying before getting replaced by the next, if there is any, I make it like 200 milliseconds. If we display the value, after that it will refresh the screen so there are no rag back values on the screen. You can also overwrite, but uh, uh, that have its complexities. So this is simple and easy. So we build the code. So what is happening here is that we are reading data from the SC05. And then we are displaying on the screen and then we are clearing the screen for the new value. That's all. So I again build the code. No errors. Go to Picket 3 Programmer Tool. Click on File. Import Hex File. This is the file here. Click on Write. Okay, the new code is being written. So go to the hardware. So this is our hardware over here. Okay, it's written. I click on On. See that there is right now no value on the XC05 screen. You can see that there is no value. Okay. So, but uh, take a look at this XC05 module. It is blinking very fast because it is right now not connected. Once it's connected, blinking will slow down. So, we get the app now. So, just turn on your Android phone, whichever you have. Okay. Select any app. You uh, just write down here XC05. Uh, like this and uh, tons of app pop up you can download any app you want uh, use any okay i just randomly select this one it says bluetooth terminal 
just install it. Okay, it's being installed. Wait for it to be installed. Unable. Open. Okay, it's opening up. Okay, give it the permission while using this app. Allow the Bluetooth. Okay, you can see that our SC05, that is the name of my device. In the previous video, I said this name, SC05. Right now, you can see the Bluetooth module is blinking very fast because it's not connected. Now, I touch this. So, connected to the device. As soon as it is connected, its blinking speed slows down. So, that's a symbol that it's connected. Okay, I again disconnected. See, again, it starts to blink very fast. Now, again, I connect it. Okay, now connected to the device. Again, it slows down. So, whenever the blinking speed slows down, it means the device has been cranked. Now, we send something. Our delimiter is small. Okay, I write here. First of all, I clear the screen. Just send something empty. Just empty spaces. Right, okay. Okay, so the screen is cleared of all the rag bagged values. So it's sent. Now I send some characters. I write hello. See, that's hello. I click on this. Okay, it sent hello. Now that rag bag values, because we didn't clean the screen, let me clean the screen. Just send uh, empty space to clear the screen. So there is just an empty space. See, screen is cleared. Now we send something else. We send foot. Foot. See, it shows foot over there. Now see, this OK is the delimiter. If I remove this, nothing will display. Because if OK is not received, it will not read the value. That's the beauty of this library. See, now I add OK. Now it will be received. See, before that, remember to clear the screen by sending empty spaces. So you don't have to deal with that rag back value. You can see OT should not be there. Just send empty, empty spaces so you can clear the screen. Okay, it's cleared. Now send whatever you want to send. Okay, I send glue, glue like this. I send. See the glue appears. Now again I clear the screen. Send some empty spaces to clear the screen. So it's clear. See the screen is clear. Now I send learn. See it shows up learn. Again I clear the screen. See, it's cleared. Now I send MCU, short form of microcontroller. Learn MCU. See, it shows MCU. So that's it, guys. That's how you can use this SC05 module and a mobile phone to develop a text communication between your PIC microcontroller and the mobile phone. So, guys, if you have any questions, you can ask in the description. I will give you the code in the description. There was an error in the code, guys, here in initializing the commands. I corrected it, but uh, in the code that will be in the description, that will be perfect. Only error was at this command here. So I had uh, corrected the errors. So that's all. Uh, if you have any questions, you can ask in the comment. So guys, thank you very much for your time and patience. I hope you guys learned something from this video and have a nice day. We'll see you in the next video.